Okay. Which came first, the Wonder Bra, <laughs> which I know all about, <laughs> oh! or this gorgeous little girl here? She's I know her. Yes, you, you my do. My kids love so me. Selena Gomez, like of course, from Disney's Wizards yeah. of Waverly Place. Uh, huge star, huge, like screaming yeah. teen sensation. Which came oh, first, the Wonder Bra? The Which Wonder Bra. Came. The Wonder Bra came first. Well, Selena was born in 1992, and the Bra was born in 1994. So Selena came first. Ah! And she's also right here. I know, my In your child's mind, obsessed. exactly. You're going to be a legend in your I kids' guess. minds. <laughs> um, never missed and you, <laughs> you did win the, the prize, and it goes back to our first uh, play. You get the jukebox! <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, I don't think it's the same version that came out in the 20s, though, because it's filled with CDs, not vinyl. Oh. But isn't that the coolest? That is great. And it even has an iPod dock. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so it's I made by Crosley. It. If you guys want to uh, have one of these in your home, we're not going to give it to you for free, but we'll link you to Crosley <laughs> online. It's very cool. It has an iPod dock. You're going to you have so to much. put this in the carry-on bin. Oh, That's going to yeah. be rough. So <laughs> in case you guys don't know who Selena is, maybe um, uh, you don't have uh, teenagers in your house or even in your neighborhood because she's a ginormous star, and we're going to show you a little bit of her at work. Check this out. Watch this. Oh, Lord. Is he looking at me? Is he looking at me? No, walk by again. I can't. That'll be my fifth time. He'll think I'm lost. <laughs> How am I going to figure out if he likes me? Why is this so hard for you? Because he knows I like him, and I don't know how he feels about me. I've never been in this position before. That's why I always play it cool around Justin. I don't want him to know I like him. Well, there he is. Hi, Justin. I was wondering if you wanted to come over today because I rented three DVDs, and they're off due till one, and I think two of them would be really good. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, I can't play it cool like you, Harper. <laughs> so we're back with the lovely Selena sitting on our uh, on our bank cat here. You're you're little like me, even with the high heels, you can't touch. Yep, nope, I am little. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get a footstool or something like they have on the you know the higher end nighttime shows. We gotta get one of those little <laughs> footstools okay. to help us pop our feet up. Yeah. So welcome. Thank you. Um, and that was a really fun game, so we thought we'd play a little mini round with you about which came first. Oh, goodness. Okay. No, this is fun. Which came first, you or rollerblades? Rollerblades. No, you. you I beat came them. first? You beat them by a year, 92 and 93. I'm old. <laughs> okay, if you're old, I quit. <laughs> okay, so number two, Selena or World Wide Web? The web. I'm sure you can't even remember life without the web, right? Right. So which came first, you or the web? Mm, I'm going to say the web. Yes. Okay, good. Good, good choice. Yay. She's doing well. <laughs> last one. Last one. I'm nervous. <laughs> I know. It's tough, right? Well, don't worry. We're not giving you any prizes. So take no, the pressure great. Off. Good. <laughs> so Selena or text messaging? Oh, um, I came first. You're right. Yay. <laughs> You're still very good at this, actually. So, you know, Selena's one of those young ladies that's, it, it, you know, few and far between, frankly, in the industry. You're really a great example. And all of the press that's, that's done about you is how together and down to earth you are. Uh, you know, does, how does your family keep you, well, grounded and so down to earth? I mean, what's, what's, what's been the key to your upbringing so far? Well, I mean, my parents obviously have a big part in that, but it's also where I'm from. I'm from a small town in Texas. So, I mean, coming out to L.A. And, and moving out there and having all these people, you know, say, oh, yes, you're perfect, yes, you're this, yes, you're that, my parents are kind of there to say, no, you're not. You still have to do chores. You still have to do that. So when I call my friends back in Texas, I'm not like, oh, I had a long day on set. I'm also like, yeah, I had to clean my room, and I, it's, it sucks too. So it's kind of like I can relate to them that you way. You can bond to everybody because you, you still have the chores and yes. the normal family life at home that everybody else has. Yes, it's not so uh so You have to glamorous. take out the garbage and do yes. the dishes and all that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Way to really cheer me up, Rach. Thanks for making me feel so welcome. We have some chores you can do here if you want to feel right at home. I don't know about that. We got a lot of dishes in this place. <laughs> so you just had your 16th birthday recently, yes? yes. Mm -hmm. How was it? The big sweet 16? Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. How was it? What'd you do? 
you? What'd you get? What was your big present? It was fun. I got to have a sweet 16, so I got to fly some of my friends from Texas out to California. Oh, that's cool. And I got um, my first car, which is a black Ford Escape hybrid. So A hybrid. Yeah. That's awesome. A car. Yes. That's wow. What a feeling of independence, huh? Yep, but I can't drive it because I don't have my license. <laughs> So it's gone beyond being a hybrid. It gets really great mileage. Yeah, it pretty just much. Yeah. I get to sit in the mornings and just act like I can drive it. Are you taking driving lessons right now? Yes, I am. Or are your parents teaching you? No, I'm, I'm taking it. I take my test November 4th, so. Wow, good luck. Thank right you. Right around the corner. Yep. Good luck. Just stay calm. Thank you. Of course, it took me until I was 25 to get my license, so <laughs> probably not a great person to give you advice there. But. It's true. It's a gruesome story. I'll tell you over the break. Anyway, um, so, you know, we, we ask people a lot, it, just, just for fun, what superpower they, were, they would have. And this is something you probably have thought a lot about since your show is about wizards. Yes. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? To be invisible, to be people's thoughts, to fly? Oh, that would be hard. I would love to actually rewind time, if that's actually a power. Just because it would be nice to kind of, if I mess up, like I do a lot, you could just rewind time and just do it all over again. That would be nice. That's a real thinking woman's answer. <laughs> I was like, oh, fly would be cool is what I was just saying. Okay, 16 and smarter than me. So, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I think that's very cool. A lot of people would like that, yeah, you know, because... He, even throughout the day, you like you choose the wrong outfit, boom. Yep. Go back home and change. Yep. No one's the wiser. Mm -hmm. I like that. Thank That's you. a good one. I'm gonna steal that. You should claim it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so your character is a bit of a tomboy. Are you a girly girl or a tomboy in real life? I'm a good mixture of both. You know, I, I do like to kind of dress up and do my hair and makeup, but I'm, I'm also a big sports girl, so I like to go to basketball games with my dad. And I think my dad wanted me to be a boy, so he dressed me as a boy the first, like, five years of my life. <laughs> I was dressed like a boy. So, like so you're comfortable in both worlds? Yes, I am. Are you really into any sports yourself? Do you have any time to play sports? No, I don't, unfortunately. Yeah. But I love watching basketball. Basketball is my favorite sport. I got you. I got you. So your friend in... Hollywood, though, I hear your best friend is, is Demi. Yes, Demi Lovato. What do you guys do when you hang out? Can you just be, there you are, the two of you. Look Aww. at how cute you are together. You look like sisters, actually. Yeah, a lot of people say that. It's just Don't when, they? Same color eyes and everything? It's just so nice to have someone to go through all of this madness with, because, I mean, we are only 16, and we're going through a lot, and we have to deal with a lot. Well, what do you guys do when you hang out, though? I mean, are you, like, just followed everywhere by cameras and stuff? Can you go hang out at the mall or catch a movie like everybody else? Or? Yeah, we can do that. I mean, we, we, we love this and we want to make this our life, but we also don't want to let it live our life for us because we still like to go to the movies, go to the mall, and, and, you know, watch movies, do each other's hair and makeup. I mean, we just like to be normal teens. Do you have to, like, go in disguise or, like, baseball caps? Or? No, you'd be surprised. I don't get recognized a lot. I go to, like, Target and stuff, and I'm shopping, and a little girl will whisper and go, oh, my gosh, is that Selena Gomez? And the other girl will turn and go, no, she wouldn't dress like that. Let's go. And, like, walk away. <laughs> so it's like, I, I mean, honestly, it just doesn't phase them. So I think that's nice. It's kind of Because they, they think of you as being only on TV. It doesn't cross over. Oh, she'd be strolling around the Target. Right, yeah. She would be with, like, bodyguards and stuff like Personally, that. Personally, I love Target. I love Target. Right? It it's is. Awesome. So great. I'm a Target shopper and I'm proud of it. So how did you guys meet? Somebody told me you guys met on Barney? Yes, I met her when I was seven years old in line auditioning for Barney back in Texas and we both got the show together, so. Oh, oh look! <laughs> Oh my god, you even look like sisters as little itty bitty. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so cute. All right, we, from, we can stop that now. Were you from? <laughs> were, were you guys from the same the same area, yes. Texas? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really great. So you literally have gone through all of this together, pretty much, and it's How, kind of that's nice. That's terrific. That's sort of like you know the Mickey Mouse Club kids that all became so successful. Do you, do you guys? Uh, wh what are your future goals? Like the Mickey Mouse kids, they can all sing, dance, and act. You girls clearly know how to sing, dance, and act. <laughs> what are your future goals? My future goal is overall to be happy. I want to make sure that my family and myself are just healthy and happy. But as for my career, I just I would love to continue to act and, and hopefully focus more on movies and things like that and, and just kind of be a well-respected actress. 